Hey guys, welcome to Surf and Show. I'm Noel Salas. Today's episode is virtual video coaching. Now our community has been asking for this for a long time and I've been coaching for years. And on our website, we offer VIP lessons, which is one-on-one -on -one personal lessons with me, whether we're at the pool, the ocean, whatever that might be, you get a little bit of feedback on how to better your surfing. Now we also do virtual video coaching where surfers from around the world send in clips. I then look at the waves, I coach it, draw on the screen, send it back, we jump on a Zoom call, we talk about the lesson, the things they're working on and make sure their equipment's dialed to go from the different levels that they wanna to progress to. Now, Aaron and I have committed with Surf and Show to help you surfers surf better, have more fun, and be on the right equipment. Now I've got special guest, Eric Peterson from Florida who agreed to jump on this first virtual um, video coaching episode. You guys are gonna love this. Sit back, get your favorite drink, enjoy the show. Hi, my name is Eric Peterson. I live in North Florida currently. I grew up surfing in South Central Florida area. Um, I probably rate myself on the level of beginner, intermediate, advanced to pro level surfer. I'd put myself in the advanced category. Um, and here in North Florida, I surf a lot of mushy waves. There's also some punchy beach breaks, depending on the swell direction and swell type. Um, I grew up surfing a lot of amateur contests and I got kind of burnt out and took about a decade, 10 to 15 years off of surfing. Over the past five to seven years, I've gotten back into it. And one of the things that really helped me get back into it was Surf and Show and watching Noel's board reviews and equipment reviews. So Noel, over the past five, seven years, just watching his videos really helped me dial in my surfboard volume and best surfboards that are suited for Florida waves. Okay, so since I live in North Florida, the waves can be pretty bad here in the summertime. So usually I book a, a trip out to Waco to the wave pool out there during the summer. Um, I went a couple months ago and I decided since Noel had moved out there to go ahead and book a surf coaching session with him. The process was really smooth and the coaching session was excellent. So even though I consider myself an advanced surfer, there's always stuff that I can learn and work on and improve. And he helped me find those things and really point them out so I can get them dialed in. Let's slow down. We're gonna get this first little top turn. Just kind of sets up the whole wave. I really like this turn right here. You're really committing to going back to the power source on this roundhouse. Everything looks good technique wise, eyes are on the prize, commitment level on that toe side rail is excellent. So I'm gonna nitpick a little bit here and just talk to you a little bit about extending, like pushing off your board and maybe not just staying in a compressed state right here. Because I feel like you're lacking a little bit of extra speed coming out of that turn. Now I also wanna point out what I like that you're doing here is you see how you're going back into the whitewash and you have that much space to go down? That's what's giving you good flow. Right back into a bottom turn, right back into a top turn. So I over, all, overall, I really like the way you set that wave up. Here's me doing the same thing. Same quick top turn, right? Now I'm coming off the bottom and I wanna point out right here, everything looks the same. Let's get in close. My hand's in the water, this hand's over here, eyes on the prize, committed to this rail right here. But what I wanna point out is, let me zoom out, watch me extend. Look, I'm pushing off my board. You see that? Look how tall I am. And then I can compress in hard, just like you did. And look, I have the same amount of space down here, but watch the flow. Right into a bottom turn, top turn, able to stick it, two more times, so extending and, and compressing, maybe just use more of that body to generate a little bit of speed. Now here it is again, this is something I kept seeing happen. This is excellent right here. Everything looks good, like this arms in the water, this hands out wide, give you good balance. You're picking your spot that you wanna hit the, the wave. So everything looked good here. Top turns look, looking excellent. I like that you're hands touching your board or close to your foot, your head's looking down right here. Technique's perfect, bro. But I wanna point out one thing here at the bottom, right here, and I feel like this kept happening, is your weight is so far forward right here, and I feel like maybe you could sit down back a little bit further on this back leg. 
I love the drive you have going into this turn. But every now and then I could see or tell that the board was bogging up over your front foot just because you're leaning so hard into this turn. But you were pulling it out and going really nice into the lip, doing excellent turns, bro. You were really surfing good. So I want to point out, as I sit down here, you get a lot lower than I do. But I'm sitting back further with my body on my back leg back here. So you can see our position similar, right? So let me undo those. And I also wanna point out that I'm looking a little bit more vertical than you are. So when I come here and I'm opening up my shoulders, which you do very well, is you're gonna see the board go a lot more vertical, right? And that's one of the things, it's just repetition and time in the pool, which I know you're gonna get if you were surfing as much as I am. Yep. So here on this left, I wanna point out that everything looks good. You're kind of throwing it up. So I, what I was saying most of the time is, I wanna see this back knee straight. And I really feel like that's gonna give you a lot more power and spray. So pretty good spray right there, but the back leg was not even close to straight. Right here, this kept happening too. You're going pretty vertical, Watch this back arm right here. It's going to go back and it's going to pull you off your center right there. So just getting that trailing arm to come around is going to give you more projection and keep your shoulder and knee real close together. Bro, I'm, I'm picking on nuances, but this is how we get to the next level. And I really feel like your board length is a problem, right? And that's causing you some grief, but... I want to point out the back leg here. This is a good angle to see what I'm talking about. Watch the back leg. You see how this is straight? Yours is bent. And just by straightening that leg, you know it's going to increase power. Right back down to the bottom. Bottom turn. Watch the back leg. It's a timing thing, but it's straight. Right? That's just going to give you that power. So that's one of the things I focus on all my top turns is just trying to push that back leg straight the best I can. Now here, I want to point out here on this cutback right here, everything is good. Technique's good. Looking back, let's get in close. You see you have your, this arm in the water, this hand's out wide, good balance. Head's looking back at the power source. Wouldn't change a thing there. I feel like you could probably compress down into your board a little bit and then start to really drive with your weight forward to gain some speed right here. So overall look good. Here's the top turn, watch the back arm. You see this going back right here? I kept seeing this happening, right? And then the more you surf, the more you were pushing that back leg straight. Your layback snaps were sick, bro. So like, let's just look at this one right here. I paused it a little bit late, but this leg was straighter, which is great. We still have this arm going back, and that's gonna pull you off your center, so we've gotta get that arm going a little bit more forward, unless it's gonna be like a legitimate layback, right? So, bro, I'm picking on things, but I think I feel like making some minor changes will really take you to the next level. Here's the cutback I was talking about. Watch the roundhouse. So everything looks the same. You can see I'm really settling into the turn, and I'm driving forward and I'm really committing to getting my board vertical on the lip here. Noel's a great coach. He, he's really good at logically breaking down the, the little things that you can tweak to make your surfing better and get it to the next level. So I really appreciated his help and the coaching tips that he gave me. And I actually was able to use those over the past couple months to do some more training at my local break and um, actually wound up winning the, the Eastern Championships for, for my division, which is the 40 and older division um, up in North Carolina this past weekend. So thanks, Noel, for the help and for the guidance and helping get my, my surfing skills uh, improved. Now that you've seen some of the stuff that Eric and I were working on, tips to help him get better. You saw him surfing, me critique it, then my own surfing. And now I want to talk about practical application. Getting on a surf skate, and practicing what we need to be feeling when we're out in the water. Now, if you follow the show, you know I like the slide. Um, uh, trucks and the boards, they feel most like surfing to me. This is the Gussie Sea Psychedelic. 
Now, one of the things uh, Eric mentioned in the episode when it started is his level. He, th he believes he's an advanced level surfer. I think he's at the highest level for advanced, maybe tipping into the expert level surfing, and he's winning amateur contests for his age division. I wanna start with backside, because that's where I started with the first wave. And it was when Eric was um, coming out of a cutback and he was gonna rebound off the white water. One of the things I was talking to him is, he's in a nice athletic stance and posture, and he's holding the rail and the board's on rail and he goes back to the power source and to rebound, but he's not gaining speed there. This is what I believe advanced level surfers can grow in is learning to extract speed by the way we push off the board using the rails that gives the board that burst of speed in those areas that it's hard to generate speed. So when Eric's in that um, athletic position with his knees bent and he's on rail and he's holding that cutback, if he keeps that rail engaged and then pushes off his board or extends, just that extension a little bit will give us a little burst of speed and then we can hit that whitewash on the rebound a lot harder. All right, now I'm gonna get on the board. I'm gonna show you what it looks like to put the board on rail and act like I'm doing a cutback and staying in an athletic position, okay? So I'm gonna get one pump. I'm gonna do my, bot my, my cutback. I'm holding it and that's it. So I was in an athletic position holding the rail and when the board was on rail, I was holding speed, but I wasn't gaining speed. Now this time I'm gonna hold it on rail and then I'm gonna push off my board and you're gonna hear the wheels offer some traction. And when I push off the board, the board's gonna squirt with speed. Here we go. So one little pump, here's my cutback. You could hear the wheels actually grip the concrete I'm pushing off and the board squirts with speed. If Eric had pushed off in that cutback, going back towards the source, he'll actually gain speed, be able to hit that lip a little bit harder, come off the bottom, have more speed, more flow, and attack the next section. Now the practical application to Eric's front side, I was talking about his front side snap, say he would come up, if this is my wave right here, he would come up and he would set it up there, back knee bent. And he could get the board pretty vertical. However, a lot of the times he was getting stuck or hung up at the top because he wasn't pushing enough weight down on his front foot. Or maybe even better said, if he had pushed his back leg straight, when this leg goes straight, that's the action. The reaction is that this front leg bends. And when it bends and this goes straight, my weight shifted forward, okay? That's gonna get me not only more spray and more power at the top, but it's also gonna get me to come down easier with a lot more speed to go right into the next turn. Let me show you. All right, guys, so this is my little wave. The grass represents the lip. The first one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the lip and I'm not gonna push the back leg straight and you're gonna see it's hard for me to keep my balance and rotate a pivot right on the lip. So one push, I'm getting my feet set. Here's my bottom turn. I'm gonna come up, hit it and come back down it's really hard for me to hold my balance that way. What's happening is I'm getting to the lip and I'm trying to turn on the back truck right here and not push my back leg straight. I feel like front side, that's harder to do. I've skated a lot of half pipes, quarter pipes, bowls, and all kinds of different banks. And I always wanna come off the bottom. And when I hit here, I actually wanna hit it and push my back leg straight, shifts that weight forward. Let me give that a run. All right, one push, get some speed, bottom turn, come in, push that back leg straight, right out. One of the things I wanna point out is I came into this bottom turn, I came into this lip a lot steeper, and I pushed that back leg straight and my trailing arm was coming forward. We saw the tail get loose and start to slide. That's what happens when you push. I'm actually pushing the fins past the lip. That makes it easier for me to slide or do the snap come down and with this leg being straight it's offering more power and it makes it easier for me to look down go to the bottom and do the next turn well guys i hope you enjoyed today's episode special shout out thanks to eric peterson for allowing us to share his coaching session for the better of our community now you can dive deep into a lot of different topics by becoming a patron we've got 
front side snaps, bottom turns, cutbacks. There's a full library that you pledge five bucks for the month and it'll dive as deep as you want to go from that lower level intermediate all the way to expert pro level tips to help you progress and get along. Look, if you like the show, ring the bell, subscribe so you don't miss an episode and give us a thumbs up if you like our content. Until next time, we'll see you in the water. Bye-bye.